We know that ancient Indians during the Vedic period relied on oral tradition to pass on knowledge. What could have been the potential hurdles which prevented our ancestors from storing information in the form of writing? And when did Indians actually take up writing? And I request last week, Science Special was one of your best episodes in recent times. Science has few takers, unfortunately. So could you please have at least one science-specific episode per month? I will be happy to do that. I know that it will have very little viewership because nobody cares about science, but I, I'll still do that. Um, I'll see maybe once a month, maybe once in a while, but I'll do that. Okay, so now about the question. Um, we know that the Vedas were transmitted orally. At least one of the modes of transmission of the Vedas was oral transmission, in which our ancestors relied on their memory to transmit the the entire corpus of the Vedas exactly syllable by syllable without making a single mistake. And today also you have you have people who have who are continuing the tradition. They have memorized the entire corpus of the Vedas. Some people would re- re- memorize the Rig Veda. Some people would re- memorize other Vedas. Some people would memorize all Vedas if it's possible. But it's possible. Human beings are capable of incredible feats. And they would not merely memorize the words. They'll be able to, to, to recite the shlokas syllable by syllable without making a single mistake. Which means that when they recite the shlokas, they are reciting it exactly the way the Vedas were recited several thousand years ago. Exactly the same pronunciations, the same ucharas. So that's one mode of transmission of the Vedas, oral transmission. Now we know about the Zoroastrians, that they have these flames, right? They have these fire temples, Agni temples, and they have these flames that are burning in these temples. You go to various uh, Zoroastrian Parsi temples in India. I mean, we don't go into the temples because uh, those are only for the Parsis and we respect that. But they have these fires that have been burning for centuries and they tend the fire. They don't allow it to go out. They don't allow anything to extinguish the fire. And they've been tending these fires for centuries and some of the fires came from Iran, from Persia, when the Zoroastrians fled the Arabic invasion. That's that's more than a thousand years ago. So they have kept the fire burning for over a thousand years. Our people, our ancestors kept the, the, the fire burning, so to say, metaphorically, for the transmission of the Vedas for several thousand years. Imagine that. So, if you have someone who's, who can recite, let's say, the Rig Veda in its entirety, that person was taught by somebody, who was taught by somebody else, and if you take that chain backwards, you're going to go back all the way to, I don't know, 6000 BC or something. That's the kind of connection these people have. That's incredible. So that's <clears throat> the oral mode of transmission of the Vedas. Okay. <clears throat> now, what potential hurdles could have prevented them from storing information in the form of writing? Well, the only potential hurdle that would have prevented them from storing information in the form of writing would have been the non-existence of writing. So in there would have been a time in our history, ancient history, when writing was not yet invented. right? And that would be the only thing that would prevent them from storing it. Otherwise, there would be people who will recite the Vedas, but there will be people who will write it down too. Because both, because storing the knowledge in two forms is more advantageous than for storing it in just one form, or transmitting it in, in just form, one form. So then that takes us to the question of when did Indians start using a script for writing? Which means, the question actually is, which is the oldest script that we know of in the Indian subcontinent? And how old is it? So we know there are scripts like Brahmi, Kharoshti, and all kinds of Brahmi or or derived scripts like Devanagari, like the Sharda Lipi, like the various Southeast Asian scripts. All these scripts are derived from the Brahmi script. There's a Karoshti script also. Uh, forget about the Karoshti right now. So we have the Brahmi script that may date back to maybe 1000 BC. Possibly. Possibly. But before the Brahmi script, which script did we have? 
it was the Saraswati Sindhu script, the so-called Harappan script or Indus Valley script. And uh, if you look at Wikipedia today, it'll say it's undeciphered. Well, it's been deciphered by Bharat Rao, also known as Yajnadevam, and it turns out to be Sanskrit. Vedic Sanskrit, late Vedic Sanskrit. Um, uh, Sanskrit, it is Sanskrit. So, and you will see that there is a clear transition between the so-called Harappan symbols or characters to the Brahmi characters. So, which indicates that Brahmi has evolved out of the old so-called Harappan script or Saraswati script. And the oldest examples that we have of the Saraswati script date back to about, about 3000 BC or something, which is 5000 years before today, roughly. If you ask Wikipedia, it will give you something similar. Roughly, okay, let's see. In the, it will say Indus script, right? Harappan script or something. Indus script. So, undeciphered blah, blah, blah nonsense. So, what's the oldest? Uh, it will say 2800 BC. Or maybe protoscript from 3500 BC, which is like five and a half thousand years before today. So, listen. <laughs> when it comes to archaeology in the Saraswati Sindhu region, we have not even excavered, uh, excavated 1% of the archaeological sites that, are, that exist in this region, in the Saraswati Sindhu region, the, the Sapta Sindhu region. We have ex excavated less than 1% of the archaeological sites. And based on that tiny little amount of excavations we've done, we know that the oldest example is about, of the Saraswati Sindhu script, is about five and a half thousand years old. So imagine we explore, ex excavate everything, then I'm sure it'll go back a thousand or two thousand years, possibly. But based on the information that we have right now, it's 3500 BC, the oldest evidence that we have, which is five and a half thousand years before today. So when did Indians actually take up writing? Based on the best evidence, it's five and a half thousand years before today. So I suppose that's when we started, possibly started writing the Vedas down in the form of a written script, possibly. Of course, uh, when it comes to the actual ancient documents that we have, the Vedas, those are most likely written on birch bark, most likely, most likely written in the Sharda script or something. I'm not sure which script it was. And that dates back to the past 2000 years only. Uh, because see, birch bark, etc., all these uh, perishable media on which you can write, those media are perishable and they disintegrate easily, especially in a hot, humid climate, that you, the kind of climate you have in many parts of India. And obviously, the Vedas are so vast that you can't write them on rock. And we did not have the practice of writing on clay tablets like the Mesopotamians, etc., had. Uh, but the oldest evidence of writing in India from the, in the subcontinent is from about 3500 BC, roughly, which would indicate that that's when Indians most likely took up writing, most probably before that somewhat, but that's the best evidence that we have. And I think that that's would, that would be the time around which maybe our ancestors started writing it down. So yeah, that's the best I can, uh, that's the best we can um, guess or calculate based on the best information that we have.